Hi everyone, I just thought I'd come on and do a quick, quick video um, just because I didn't do one yesterday. Um, yesterday we spent, um, no, I didn't get the receipt, but basically we got two bottles of Pepsi Max and a bottle of milk. That is literally it. So I didn't see the point in doing a video, um, which I think was, there was £15 something left. Um, so I put it all into here. And then today we literally spent nothing, not a penny. So... What I've done is, because I want to put this money left over in here, which I'm not telling you how much it is, if you're on my Instagram you'll know, um, basically into my long term savings binder, which is the one that I talk about all the time, this one, sorry you probably can't see, um, my long term one, so basically the ones that are ongoing, yeah? Um, so because of that I needed it to be a note so tomorrow's 20 i've changed from the 20 pound note into all the coins so it's ready to go although tomorrow i definitely need stuff because i'm doing a pasta bake so we need some cheese um i need some nappies because imogen's nhs ones have run out and um what else I need some orange juice. Um, I just need a few bits, which tomorrow I'll come on. Or maybe Tuesday and I'll show you my receipts. Um, and we'll just go from there, basically. So, like I said, I've um, changed it out. You can see there's a few notes. But honestly, this has to be the best way I have done my food shop. Um, yes, it's a bit more time consuming because you have to go out every day and if you work full time it's definitely not going to be for you but I struggle a lot with my uh, mental health which a lot of us do and I find that just ignore the disgusting nails I know I say it but I'm getting them done Tuesday I find that a lot a lot of the time I don't really get out the house and this is definitely helping with that because I'm going out and then Ryan's like come on let's go to Aldi and it's only 10 minutes up the road but it definitely does help so yeah, I'm really enjoying it and I think um, going forward, this is what I'm definitely going to be doing. So, um, I was talking to my sister and she was like, because basically I don't really spend on a weekend, maybe £5 if that. And she was like, why don't you up your weekly money? But at the minute I don't really have to, but I'm going to because she's right. Um, up your weekly money to £30 a day, which would be like 30 times 5 um and then do less on a weekend so what i've decided to do is give us 30 pound monday to friday and then weekend just do 10 pound a day so it's still the 170 i'd normally spend but it just gives me a bit more of a um cushion for when i've got all my kids because i have my kids monday to friday um two weeks and then monday to saturday two weeks so it's just the way we do things. Although on the Saturday they still go early. So it's not like I have to feed them on the Saturday. Usually just breakfast and dinner, not tea. So yeah, it's definitely um, beneficial. And then I'm doing my £20 household. And then £20 um, like miscellaneous. So it's going to be two ten a week. Which for a family of seven I still think is really low compared to some people's. Um, but I don't really feel like we spend much more than that. I don't drive yet so I don't need petrol. I don't smoke and um, we don't really eat out because I, I can't really do eating out with my, my weight loss operation so I just don't really we just don't not often anyway Um so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing and I'll do that on Tuesday for the, the week coming up and um, I feel like whatever's left tomorrow I, I'm hoping that I've got a few pounds left tomorrow but I've definitely got enough to put some into this binder, which is what I'm going to be doing. So, like, um, I really want to focus on the 52 week um, because I haven't given that one as much love and maybe, like, the autumn one. So, what I did is, because you all know that I had £50, if you watch me anyway, in my butlins holiday envelope and i've decided that the rolling scratch is going to butlins so basically i played the game and luckily it actually oh it actually come out dead on 50 pound and you, I, I promise i didn't cheat so yeah i did a few more so we have now left five 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23. So uh, we're not we're not even halfway yet <laughs> um, because it's 36. So that's going to be Mutlins. Money for Butlins when we go in December. Um, and yeah, I feel like this one, um, the money in here, I'm going to put towards it as well because it's going to be all like pounds and stuff which is perfect for the kids because um, I've never been to Butlins but I assume it's got like amusements and stuff so obviously these are all like change and it's going to be perfect so um, yeah I hope everyone, oh we've got a kitten, I say she's a kitten, she's one, no 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 she's a little, she makes, she's not like Bronwyn's cat, she comes and makes a huge mess and knocks all my stuff off and yeah she just like prances with her butt in the air like she's done nothing <laughs> while ruining all my Disney ornaments every day I have to come and fix my desk she knocks all my binders off yeah she's just one of them like proper lady but she's so smart honestly I'm, I'm sure she's a dog in a cat's body like if I tell her you know come here she comes here and if I say stop and go away she goes away it's it's not go away, you get my point if I say no. She listens. Well, my other two cats are like that. My other two are like proper docile and don't behave. <laughs> but yeah, um, I digress. Um, basically, I'm just saying that this will be handy for that because it's £110. So I'm only going for the weekend. We go Friday night and come back Monday morning. Um, so yeah, we shouldn't need loads and loads of money. And like I said before, Monday, um, not Monday, I can't think what I'm saying, um, breakfast and tea or dinner if you're not from Yorkshire or Newcastle um, is included so I only really need and half the time my kids eat that much at dinner, uh, breakfast, they won't want dinner anyway so um, it's pretty much just for everything else you know for the few days um, but yeah absolutely loving this daily budgeting um, definitely recommend it. Get you out the house. I'd never ever have had forty pound left if I wasn't doing it this way. I've just told you how much I've got left, haven't I? <laughs> Oops. Basically, I'm just saying that I'd have never have had it at all. I'd have spent the full hundred and seventeen Tesco's, and then still have needed um, extra milk, bread, you know, pack up bits. I'm literally just getting what I need, and that's definitely working. So, I will see you all probably Tuesday so I can restuff my weekly money um, unstuff what's left put it into my savings challenges and then I think on Friday I'll do my normal cash stuffing um, so I've got like a little gap maybe do one on Wednesday or Thursday just to let you know how the week's going um, but I just want to say as well thank you, thank you, thank you because I have met the threshold again this month for um, AdSense, so if you don't know what that is, it's where you, if you have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, you can earn money off the adverts, so if you watch them and the creator that you're watching gets a little kickback, it's not a lot of money, but obviously it's nice um, to think that people do watch the adverts for yeah, because I've got YouTube Premium and I believe that if you've got YouTube Premium, this person still gets kicked back. I don't know how it works, but um, it still supports, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know, fully know, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there, and I'll speak to you all on Tuesday. Hope everyone's doing well, and I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. I don't know. And when you think there's something you need to talk about, or sure. I haven't had any happy mail. I have ordered the um one minute. I have ordered the challenge of budget locks, the new one that she's just brought out 2024 for next year. So my aim quickly is to get probably a few of these done. Um maybe just so I can start on that one as well. But I did say that I'm going to start this one because I really need to. So 
I just put a little sticker. I don't know who sent that sticker. This is the bane of my life. I've had this for so long and I keep saying I'm going to start it and it terrifies me. It really does because I don't want to quit something that I, I really want to do. And obviously I love Charlotte. Um, but I've had this for a long time and I just keep putting it off because again, it does scare the life out of me. But I definitely need to start it because it's just sat there. And it's just so nice and yeah, um, we're just waiting. But I think what scares me about this is I can't condense it. Because <laughs> once they're in there, I don't want to ruin it. So yeah, I will start it. Like I said, I've done Christmas. So Oh, and Christmas, um, quickly again, where is it? Is it in this one? So I put my Christmas, one minute, this money... I've kept the tracker in, but I've put the Christmas money in the pot. So when I come to unstuffing it in November, um, it'll be more than just my kids' money because if I leave this in here, I'll end up spending it too early and I am not ready. I'm not ready to buy for Christmas yet. I don't know if it's just me. Um, I know that a lot of people say that it's cheaper, but I don't personally, I mean, this isn't to start a debate. I personally find that if I buy something in September, it's always cheaper around um, Black Friday. I, like, it just drives me nuts. I got my little one, the Amazon tablet. I paid, like, not a lot on... Um, in September for it and then come no November it went down to like 29.99 or something daft like that and I was fuming so I'm just I'm just if 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 um people like to shop early I used to before I met Ryan July I used to be buying like it used to be like I used to live breathe Christmas and now I just want to enjoy it at the time where it's meant to be enjoyed if that makes sense so like December like I, I just want to enjoy it the time and I don't want to be trying to hide stuff and you know like one time I got so much stuff early I didn't have anywhere to store it I put it under my bed because I didn't want the kids to know where it is and it crushed I was fuming because the lat on my bed <laughs> it broke down it didn't break but it moved if that makes sense so the mattress so I'd just rather not have to store stuff um, because as you all know I'm waiting for a move and our house isn't big and um, luckily I've only really got three little ones now my eldest two understand everything like that um i'm pretty sure my 12 year old does as well but he's got autism so um my point is is that i don't want to break my christmas pot i don't want to get into any form of christmas buying until november i'm going to try my best to last until november please let me know have you done your christmas um budget um, how much is your budget so I finished this one and then the other one I've given to my sister the Christmas tree um, so it's, the kids is, it's ready it's here is it here I don't know if you can see it nearly £2,000 it's not quite £2,000 because I didn't need £2,000 um, but it's there it's ready to go so yeah I will speak to you all on Tuesday